The large English black is uh, known for more of its fat content. Uh, the Berkshire is more like a marbled meat. They call it sometimes a wagyu of pork. The fat content on this bloke that we're going to do will probably be about an inch and a half to two inches along his back. Um, you'll enjoy your pig more going through this process. Um, I think it's fairer for the pigs. They've had a better life and uh, we'll all benefit from it. For uh, your home processing of a pig, um, we get a nice big fire pit going. So we're just bringing the coals out now because we don't want it to get too hot. We're going to put a bit of cold water in the, in the bath now, recheck our temperature and then just temper the fire a bit to, give us, to maintain our temperature. It shouldn't be for too long that we're doing this job. Right. So when you get the temperature right, it comes right off in swathes. You right, mate? Well done, all up in one. So now we're just going to wash down with a light bleach mixture, about a cup and a half full in a bucket of water, and we'll wash the pig down, uh, ready to eviscerate. Now that we've killed our pig, we've now got to break it down. There's a few tools we're going to need to get through it. When sectioning the pig, we're going to do it into four sections. So we'll remove the head, then we'll have the fore quarter, then we'll have the loin, and that's the hind quarter. Now we're going to bone our fore quarter. We're going to cut a line down the centre of the backbone. We're going to use our needle again and our twine and we'll do the old-fashioned roast knot. We make a cut through the roast down below, come up, loop, pull back. So now we're going to cut it from the pelvis. So keeping a little bit of pressure on here, we're just going to cut down and follow the bone right around the pelvis. Once you lay out the whole pig that you've done, it, it spreads out to look like a fairly big load. I'm just going to go over the bits and pieces that we've done. This is the head that's been cooking the whole while while we were boning it, and we're going to break all that down, strip the meat off it when it's slightly cooler, and chop it up and make our terrain. The ears we will deep fry, flour egg and breadcrumb at deep fry as an appetizer. This was the inner fat that I said we won't use later on um, as for rendering for other stuff. It's not for sausages or using back fat in terrines or anything like that. It's a separate fat. This is the, the trim that we had when we were cutting off all the bits and pieces. I said we'll keep reserving it, the little glands and things like that. This is the excess um, fat which will be put aside, frozen. And I was talking about when we cut up to using salamis or terrines or whipping it up in a machine to add body or moisture or flavour. If you've raised your own pig and killed your own pig, you'll value every scrap of meat that's on this bench. Now the next step is to go on into the preservation of a pig. You might prefer to do the Italian style or just straight fresh meat. And this is what we've done today. We've done fresh meat, butchery. I know you'll like doing it. The proof will be in the tasting of it and the joy of making sausages together and sharing your labours with your friends. So please go out, get yourself a pig and enjoy the process. <laughs>